Welcome back to Double Fries No Slaw. We're here for our third edition of a Seminole Softball Rewatch Party. Tonight's the ACC Championship. TJ Pittenger, joining Catherine Sandercock, Kaylee Mudge, Devin Flaherty, and Sydney Sherrill. Um, we did the Alabama game first. We did the at Florida game next. And we're going to do the championship of the ACC today. It's presented by Rising Spirit. If you like this content, if you enjoy watching, go ahead and do us a favor. Go to the link in the description. Go to the link in the comments. And uh, donate to the Seminole softball-specific campaign. A lot of S's there. But donate to the softball campaign. 100% of your donations go to the girls and the team um, and support them if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy them and enjoy watching them on the field. Um, something special about – I feel like all of Twitter likes it. Maybe it's just me hyping it up on, on our pod account. But something special about the Sunday goals or the championship goals, right, in this situation, right? Well, they were kind of bad luck throughout the season. Like, honestly, <laughs> we, every time we wore them, we lost. So we were like, I think we, I forget when we like switched it around and started winning with the bond, but <laughs> they worked for us for ACC. Yeah, they did. Um, Mac, starting here. She pitched really well in the last game, the Florida game that we talked about a ton. And then she gets the start in the ACC championship. And then. You know, you know, certainly isn't certainly is not Mac, but Kaylee playing a position she doesn't play all the time. You know, maybe something a little bit different there for her. But uh, I didn't really want to focus on Kaylee's error. I really more so just wanted to talk about Mac starting and the confidence that Coach had in her uh, to go out there and, and get us going today. Yeah, I remember Mac being a little nervous coming into this game, but. Um, she was she did so great, and I remember just talking to her in the dugout in between every inning, and she just the whole time she was just like, "I'm giving you everything I got." It was a long, it was end of a long road trip, so we were tired. But. We talked about this a little bit, but you mentioned the the road trip. Um, I don't remember who talked about it in the Alabama game, or if we all if you all four did, but. Talk to us about the uh, talk to us about a little bit about the road trip um, up through DC. Went to Cat's house. Um, how neat was that to uh, get to just go and was it a full week? It felt like a full week. Just have a full week where you just were like hanging out and doing fun stuff. Yeah, it was so much fun. Coach has like always been awesome at like making trips like a little bit longer and allowing us to do fun things or go to um you know certain players houses like we went to devs earlier in the year we've been to mudges before um, and then cats this year so coach has always been good at allowing us just to you know, get a different experience in softball because it is a lot of softball and about 10 days i think is the road trip florida state in her 14th season won the national championship yeah, I was really happy. I've been wanting the team to come to my house every year that I've been on the team. And it just worked out that we played our last ACC series at NC State. And then we were going up to Pittsburgh and I knew that we were going like on the route that goes right by my house. So I was like, oh, we have to stop. And we can do like a big DC day because I live um, pretty close outside the city. And it was so much fun. I was so happy that everybody got to see where I grew up and stuff. It's really cool to get to watch you guys not only play, like, right, like, that's that's what we love to see, but it's cool to follow, you know, whoever's, you know, got the got the social media controls at that time, but really cool to see kind of what's going on in your personal lives, too. Was oh, that on? No. <laughs> Should have probably seen that, that all happened. <laughs> Oh, we had a rough first inning this game. I mean, we yeah. did, but I'm just going to, like, since it's on here, like, the way, like, Kaylee handled it, like, I mean, I just know, like, Sydney and I, like, just, like, you know, making errors in the infield, like, it's, like, really hard. Like, we, like, really pride ourselves, like, on, like, our defense and working for our pitchers and our pitchers feed us. So like sometimes we feel like we're like letting your teammates down. And I think that's what Kaylee felt like here. Um, it's like super hard, but Kaylee like handled it like a pro. Like she like turned around, like she eyed me up. Like, 
you know, obviously it's hard to stay in that moment. And she just did such an amazing job. I think you'll see it turn around offensively. But I just want to, like, pretty say, even before you guys see, like, the offensive side of it, her turning it around, like, right there, like, she's still in it. Like, and that's really hard to do. And it was, like, a really, honestly, like, it sucked, obviously, but it was a super cool moment, like, as a teammate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they kept this camera on you or why I didn't cut I know, it out, but sorry to make it awkward. <laughs> I don't remember I if it was when, like, when we won or if Coach had said this earlier, but I think she had said that, like, when she had a meeting, like, Kaylee was laughing about the errors, and she was like, I think when um, – she pulled Mac and put her at first, and then Kaylee came back to the outfield. Like, I remember her being like, okay, I'm back in my element. Like, I just remember her laughing about it, and I think that was, like, super different because I remember her freshman year, like, when she'd make an error, she'd be pretty quiet. But to see her, like, smiling about it and laughing about it was kind of cool because, like, what Coach has said about, like, growth moments and stuff, to see her, like, come back out and just, like, laugh about it. We all just three joked about it in that moment, and it was, like, a pretty cool moment to see. Um, going from last year to this year, like how mature she was and how much she grew in a year, being able to like laugh it off and know um, that the team had her back and that she was going to get another opportunity to, to change the game. Yeah, and and, and Max playing uh, pitching really well. You know, a couple couple of errors, right? Like this is not you know none of this is on her so far. But so you know it kind of gets lost when. The other team scores a couple of runs, or well, they only scored one here, but it kind of gets lost. But she really did start this really, really well. Um, is that a double play? Nice. I thought it bounced. Sydney Cheryl, three time defensive player of the year in this league. And she plays so far off the line with these lefties up. She is challenging them to hit it down. You read that better than her. Three times. Okay, here's a good one. Um, three-time defensive player of the year in the ACC. I know you don't play. I mean, I know I, I kind of want. I'll ask you, and then if anybody else. I mean, you guys have all won awards. Eva, you were on the. You were on the ACC team. You know, all ACC team in this tournament. You guys have all won stuff, and you guys all have personal accolades. But I'll start with Sydney. I know you play for the team, and I know that's the answer. I know that's the PR answer. I know that's what you're supposed to say because you're humble, but. What do the personal accolades mean? Like when you work your butt, I mean, you know, nobody sees you working out. Nobody sees you working your tail off. When you do get those personal accolades, they, they are important, right? Like they do mean something to you. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, they do. I think it's cool. Like it's, it's fun to be good at something and like win awards for it. But I, that's really the only thing I answer I can give you because it's really like, just, honestly, it's just not about that. Like, I think we can all like attest to like we like genuinely play the game like for the love of it and we want to win championships and I think that's one thing about softball that's so different than a lot of other sports like baseball or um, more male dominated sports like they might be playing I think I said it last podcast to you know get drafted or make it big and take care of their families like that's not why we play softball we play softball because like we love this game and it's so fun to win championships in the sport and um i mean accolades will come and they have for all of us but i mean winning this ACC championship was like it was like it is what i wanted all year i said at the beginning of the year that was my goal like it wasn't even a national championship first it was the acc championship i was so disappointed that we had lost it last year so yeah i think i don't that's a long answer, but yeah. <laughs> no, that's a good answer. That's a good transition. Uh, yeah, that, I'll, I'll, I assume that you know everybody's gonna kind of have a, a similar answer there. But yeah. talking about the ACC championship, we had we had Brooke Niles on, and I believe they've won six in a row, and I think we had won six in a row right before, before last year. Was it five or six? Yeah, something something like that. And I think what ends up happening. When you win six conference championships in a row, whether it's in beach volleyball or here or back in the day when football won them every single year, fans end up thinking that because something happens a lot, they end up thinking that it's easy. And it's never easy, right? Like just because it, just because we ended up being the best every single year doesn't necessarily mean that it was an easy thing to do. 
Um, I mean, you know, anybody that wants it, Dev, Kaylee, Kaylee, you just got the got on base here. Uh, Talks about how important it was to win this ACG championship after the disappointment of the year before. Yeah, I was my first ACC championship, so obviously meant a lot to me and Devin. Um, both being able to win it for the first time was super cool. I think um, the ACC has just grown so much since um, I was little and watching softball, everything was SEC or PAC. And to be able to play in such a competitive conference has been so meaningful to us because it gets us so ready for postseason. So I think being reminded that our conference was growing in a hard way by not winning the ACC championship and keeping our streak going, obviously not the way you want to learn a lesson, but I think it's just a testament to how strong our conference has gotten. And so the championship means so much more when you know you worked hard to get it and you've earned it. Um, so yeah, I was, Devin and I's first ACC championship, so definitely going to cherish that forever. Yeah, I mean, kind of just like what Mudge said, like, I think it was almost like a reset last year, like, the ACC has been, like, on the rise, like, you know, Kat and Sydney and even before they got in, and then, like, last year, it was like, you know, Duke was in it, Clemson was in it, Virginia Tech had um, a great year, so I just think it was almost like we can use it as, like, a reset, and now it's like, you know, you kind of know how hard it is, and what it's going to take to win it. I mean, this year, too, was so difficult. Um, such great teams. Even, like, our first game against Virginia was, like, it was close. So, like, there's just – you can't sleep on anyone anymore in the ACC, and that just isn't always the case. And uh, I think it's, it's so awesome for the game of softball. So hopefully we got a few more items. Yes. Uh, let's reel off another six for sure. Um she makes up for it, right? She makes up for the couple of mistakes. Whew. Close there. But uh, ties the game. I remember I remember being at, at lunch and I asked them to put the game on the TV and they looked at me like I was crazy and I was like, just just do it, you know. But um, I got home. I left lunch at, you know, one nothing. I got home and it was three one. And I was like, Oh, we're gonna cruise here. Obviously it went back and forth. From there, but uh, I don't know that she makes up for the error. We tie the game. I think, too, though, there, like, as a teammate, like, not that, like, making up for the error is great, but, like, like she already, like, was, like, still in it. Like, even if you know, she, like, doesn't get that hit there, she, like, we had Kaylee, and that's, like, huge, like, what's said. So, like, obviously, as a fan, like, we love that she goes up there and she gets a hit, but I think too to remember like Haley's always gonna like she just is a testament like this game is a testament to her whether she like performs or not offensively whatever happened after this like she was still in it and that is kind of like the testament for our team that year like you know kind of she just turned it around and was still there and it was like super super cool to say I mean that's like dragging on but it was just like it was super cool to see from Haley especially you know like much said like. I think sometimes fans, and we can all be guilty of this, right? Like you may, you know, you guys may do it less because you are athletes playing at a Division One level. But I think sometimes with fans, we forget that athletes are like real people, right? Like that, that they're actual humans. We we had, you know, you know, I don't know how closely you guys follow the football stuff, but we literally had Greedy Vance on. I mean, we reported it earlier tonight, but uh, defensive back on the football team. And when we asked him, "What do you want? What are Seminoles fans getting?" out of you as a, as a transfer from Louisville. And his answer was, you know, he started with football. Somebody that's going to work hard. Somebody that's going to show up every play, blah, 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 blah. Right. Answered all the football things you're supposed to say. And then he said, and just a real person, like I'm a real person. Like if you see me after a game, win or loss, like if it's a really tough loss, maybe give me a few minutes. If you see me after a game, I'm a real person. You can come up and talk to me and I'll have a real conversation with you. I thought that was so cool. Right. Like, cause I think fans, you know, see you guys and, and the football team and our, our athletes soccer and our athletes that have just incredible success and they're like like you're almost like superstar like you're not real people to them so I think that's a great point right not only did she make the play to tie the game which we're very thankful for but she also is like a real person and her head was back in the game and she's here competing and um, yeah I think that's something that we can all kind of be reminded of at times 
Easy pickup by Cheryl. Very aggressive base runner. Sees the ball in the dirt and takes fast. it immediately. So fast, it. Now a two oh, on thanks. <laughs> First base open. It's this Mac. Oh, 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 I know what happened here. Oh, no, I didn't know I do apologize. We honestly had a few umpire calls in this tournament that, like, I, for one, didn't know. Like, mine against Duke, like, I didn't think I was the one where I was in the baseline. And he said, like, oh, I was yeah. really like, nice bro. And then Max here, like, I didn't know. I didn't... Both... Yeah, I didn't know this was a rule. Yeah, so it was. I mean, it's a good learning moment. Like we were happy about it, but you know, if it happens again, now we'll know. <laughs> I like knew it was a rule, but I don't think I've ever actually seen yeah. it happen. No, I haven't seen it. It was all like, theoretical. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I got so mad. I was so upset. You were said. I remember you getting back on third base and looking at the dugout and being like. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Sydney, like, what just happened? Like, what, what, is, what has to happen? Now? And she was not happy. Uh oh, -uh. how was it? I was like, what Leonard does. It's a ball down the first base line, and instead of touching the bag, Bailey Taylor comes. And that's kind of a, I guess that's kind of an instinct thing, right? Because if you're on, if you're on first going to second there, you're just trying to slow it down so you make sure Sydney gets home. Yeah. Um, and for Mac, like, she's doing her job, you know? So that's kind of what sucks, too. Like, she did her job. She got like, no matter yeah. if she didn't go back, so. You had her back, though, Devin. Well, good thing we have Devin for I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I was so happy. She didn't waste any time. I mean, think about it. She gave you an extra RBI. Because yeah. you only had one RBI there, so. <laughs> she was just being generous. It was selfless. <laughs> yes. That was so great because, like, that happened with Mac, and then we're all like, <sighs> and then it was like one pitch later, immediately, like, oh, that didn't even matter. Right. You feel like your world's crumbling. And <laughs> I remember offensively, it was pretty big for us, too. I, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I think it felt pretty confident against Cato because we had seen her so much um, against Clemson. More wings. No, nothing. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Those Clemson, we talked about this a little bit off air, but those Clemson games were a lot, well, su Sunday or Saturday, that was a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those Clemson games were a lot closer than, I mean, yeah, they were one-run games that we won really late. Um, in fact, what did we score? Yeah, we scored one in the seven. We walked off the first one. Who walked that off? Haley walked off the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Kaylee single through the left side. You scored. No, no, Ross. Uh, yeah, Amaya scored. Yeah. You were on base. Um, and then that second one, 7-6. Seven, seven, How did that one happen? Do you guys remember? What about the one that Clark hit three home runs? And... Is that the one we were down? I remember looking. I was, like, re-watching some of the games one day, and I looked at one. We were, like, down, like, 4-0. It was 4 was like... Yeah, so we did have a double in the gap at some point. I remember clutch. We talked about. It. I remember South yeah. first. We were down. We were down five. Yeah, we were down four to two in the sixth and scored five runs, and then they scored two in the seventh. But then we ended up holding it by one. That was what. That was a nice catch, Mike. <laughs> I remember that. The ball never goes to the left field. So I feel like we never get to see Kaylee, but I made sure I know. That, that we I'm out there, one. I promise. I swear all her balls too in like foul territory. Like she gets so many. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, so many. Specifically planning for it. She gets like just as many in foul as she does fair. It's pretty it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of foul room because then I can make those plays. It's like harder. Mm -hmm. NC State had no NC State's like foul fence like came into fair. Like there was uh -huh. no foul room, so I was like, well, anything that's foul, like I don't have to play on the line at all because anything that's foul is over the fence. But I like having a lot of room to work with. Makes it more fun. Be an emotional player. 
Bailey is so hot. Oh my god. Yeah, this was a rocket. Yeah, hit off the wall. I what I want them to do in softball is um, put like a ball tracker on it too. Like when you're watching a baseball game or the MLB or whatever, they'll tell you like how long, how far each home run went or what the exit velocity. Like I want to see that because some of hers and Michaela's would just be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but that was a big one for sure to tie it up. A lot of scoring, eight runs in the first couple of innings. I think it just shows like how how much we kind of move each other like throughout this period. So I think that's sort of what happens when you get two teams who kind of went at it. Like we both had to use all of our pictures and played each other. We both had to face each other a lot. We had to figure out each other's you know tendencies and stuff. Um, so I think that's kind of what happens. It's really good game, really good teams. Like they're going to make adjustments and we're going to have to kind of you know figure out. Kind of, you gotta play a little differently because it's not just you know one thing to own. Guys, I know we've seen some miscues on defense from Florida State, but when I talked to Michaela Edenfield earlier this week, she said defense was something that they pride themselves on, and it's not just people that play defense. Everybody I would say this was a pretty roster. quick everybody inning. Wants to know everybody wants to know the plays, and everybody's locked in on where people need to be so they can. Be but I don't remember. I don't. Yeah, so I'm kind of watching this just like you guys are, just trying to figure it out. Nice play. Yeah, I think it was like a seven-ish pitch inning. Yeah, that's why I cut this up because it was a really quick one. I remember um, rewatching this game in the hotel room after we won. I remember, I think Kat, you texted and said, "Hey, like watch party," and we were all in like five hours after we won, and it was I missed like the first. I think four innings. Um, so I was with my parents, but I remember going in the room and then watching us win. And it was like five, four or five hours after we had just won it. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as we won, we got back to the hotel. I was like, I want to watch the game. And um, I mean, I think a few people said like, oh, I want to too. And so I said, okay, let's get an HDMI cord and like watch it on a TV. And then, yeah, that's what we ended up doing. But it was so fun. And yeah, people like, like Mudge, like filtered in and out the whole time, but it was so fun. And we just, yeah, just talked about the game. But I think that that's so cool because, like, there's certain moments where we're standing there and be like, oh, I remember, like, I was thinking this or when this hat. Like, it was it was really fun. That was a fun team thing that we did. Ooh, I thought you were going to go there. It was played well. Yeah, I mean, why not? But they played it I, well, but um, two was funny. Funny. Like you just steal it, you know? Um, yeah. I think other people watched the games to that trip, but that trip is also the trip where we went ghost hunting. So we were like half <laughs> like softballers, half like ghost hunters that weekend, and it was it was awesome. Like it was so fun. It was so like, fun because the. The hotel we were staying at, we had rumor it had rumor to be haunted. What was the movie that was filmed? Uh, the Silence of the Lambs was the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. We had our balloons in the elevator. Yeah, it was so scary. <laughs> we actually, at one point, I think Katie and Michaela um, went to CVS for something because we were walking us and they found a doll in there and they bought the doll and Michaela like put makeup on it to make it look dirty and she like broke one of the arms and messed up all the hair and then we planted it in the hotel and then we're like let's go ghost hunting and we um got Mudge to come with us yeah like, I found it I was on that doll. And so we started walking through the hotel and we came across the doll and Bunch didn't know that we had planted it there and it was really funny. I was like, no, I like, I remember after I saw the doll, I was like, I'm out. Like, take yeah. it. Please take <laughs> it. I like didn't even make it up the stairs. I remember I didn't go the first couple nights. And then after we went, was it? Maybe it was the night before the championship. I don't know, but I had decided that they were good left ghosts because we've been doing well at the tournament. So I was like, I might as well like go see what it's about. And then I saw the doll on the stairs, and I just remember running. Tina was laughing. And then we put the doll in the elevator, and um, 
accidentally we like put it in there as a joke and then right when we went to go get it the elevator closed and so we waited for it to come back up and it came back up with the person that we didn't know and she was like do you see that that is creepy i do not like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're like half softballers half ghosters yeah <laughs> Maybe that's what you do in your next skirt. Like, is that a is that a degree that you can get at FSU? Like a ghost hunting degree or Virginia highest upset over a ranked opponent that this young club has ever had. Um, pretty cool to see. I think they're talking a little bit about Clemson just being a kind of a young club and um really in just what, two full seasons, two and a half years for them to be and do what they've been able to do. Um, this was a quick inning too. I think this was like a five pitch inning, just for the record. Um, shout out cat, but, um, it is pretty impressive to see what Clemson's done. I certainly want to keep, keep beating them and keep up that undefeated streak. But, uh, I mean, I won't be super shocked if they get us, you know, one time out of four next year. We'll say that <laughs> just not in the, in the tournament. They can have one on the road. I think it's easy to play such a like a respectable team too. Like, I think they always respected the game when we played them. There was never any like, at least from what I remember, there was never any like dirty plays or anything like that. And I got to play with the uh, catcher Abby in Canada in Colorado um, a couple weeks ago, and it was cool just to like get to know her and kind of talk about her program. And she loves it there. It sounds like a family. So. I think it makes it easier when you when you're playing a respectable program that respects the game and respects the opponent. Um, just makes it a little bit easier to just like focus on playing the game softball and not any other distractions. Yeah. We're watching a live stream of the ACC championship. If you're tuned in, if you're watching this, we have in the comments a uh, link to the softball specific team campaign uh, through Rising Spear. We encourage you to go donate to that if you can, if you have the ability. Um, 100% of your donations go to the team. If you appreciate them or you appreciate the content that they're putting out for you, we would encourage you to go and donate there. Um, back and forth game, back and forth game. I, I'm were you were you nervous at all? I mean, it's not it's not really late. But was anybody nervous at this point? I mean, you're only down a run, so like I, you know, I'm not trying to make it too big of a deal, but you know, back and forth, back and forth. Every time we answered, they answered. Every time they answered, we answered. What are you guys thinking here? I think I was so like tired and hot and I don't think I was feeling too well during this game. So I think I was just like trying to stay in it. So I couldn't, I didn't even have room to be nervous. So I don't think I was nervous. No. I feel like we had like the team to like do anything. Like if anybody was going to do it, it was us. So I was like a little nervous, but like I knew we could do it. It was just going to be somebody like, Somebody was going to step up. It had been someone different, like, so many different times throughout the season. And I know we were capable of it. We just had to, like, you know, do it. And it happened. So I wasn't too surprised when it did happen. I was just really excited. I was nervous the first inning. And then yeah. and then I kind of realized what type of game it was going to be and that there wasn't really any room for nerves because it was just going to be back and forth the entire game. So after the first inning, it – I mean, we got everything out of the way, scoring three runs, letting them score one. So all the nerves were kind of gone after that first inning. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but Kat is back in the dugout before this ball gets the first base. <laughs> Walk it off. Um, a big moment here. Yeah, this is the top of the sixth. They've got a couple on. And, uh, yeah, it's getting a little late, right? So we've only got, yeah. If I'm reading that right, the six, it's a little small, but um, six outs left to play with. Um, I actually was very nervous, not very nervous, like playing. I think like in the dugout, we were doing like different things. Like I think I was like leaning on top of Denai with like my arms, like inner hook with her arms some way. And like our fingers were crossed <laughs> out. It was good. Were you good there, Sid? Yeah, I was good. I just thought my nail broke. I was pissed, but <laughs> I was fine. I didn't think about, yeah, I was, I was fine. I was just making sure my tail was all good. But I don't know what happened, but I like. <laughs> I love how you immediately sit up right after. <laughs> Is that? Is that your play? Is that her play? Is it just it's so fast? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that's 
Is that just her inst? Is that just her instinct taking over though? Yeah, she for just it? probably wanted to try to catch the ball. She didn't probably know where I was. And... Hey, hey, we might need her to catch it now that Sydney's not on her face. So she was there, and that's that's positive. Yeah, she would have caught it if I didn't snag it away from her. She would have caught it. So yeah, yeah. we totally caught. intercepted it. Now Cheryl goes to second. They can't turn it. Oh man, I was gonna say if we turn that. What a back to back. Going after the yeah. first pitch, reaches on the fielder's choice. And some may wonder why doesn't Cheryl just retreat and get the lead runner at third base? Well, when it comes to double plays, Florida State <laughs> so good. At yeah, you hear what she's asking, Sid? Did you have any thought in your mind of, of going to third and getting the lead runner? No, as soon as the ball took me forward, I feel like I just had to go for like the generic double play. Um, yeah, but it would have so been, been hard to get to on that one because it was a soft, softer ground ball, but we almost yeah. did it. But... Your your momentum was carrying you forward. I thought it was weird that she even kind of implied that you should have maybe gone to third. Um, yeah, because it wasn't like I mean, you weren't like right there. You did. I mean, yeah. you'd have been a race to the bag, and your momentum was going the wrong way. And I know you're fast, but um... <laughs> <laughs> really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really fast. If you didn't watch the Alabama game that we did a couple of weeks ago, then you won't get that joke, and you should go watch it. But yeah, you should. Go. <laughs> and donate. <laughs> yes. Mask off. Mask off. Who's that, Dev? <laughs> <laughs> <That dumb. laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Huge. If not. Didn't have so many explicits. I would tell you that you should make that your like walkout sign, walkout song, or like <laughs> walk out of the inning song, maybe. Like once he breaks it out, like so, yeah. This is gonna be a clean version, right? Yeah. I think that pitch too. Kocha was so excited about that too because this is the second time. I think Michaela came out to talk, and whenever Michaela and I come out to talk, we kind of come up with the next couple of pitches rather than Kocha. And um, that was really good face running by Amaya. Oh my god. But She's so fast. Amaya fast. It's a different Amaya oh. fast. Amaya yeah. fast. <laughs> but I threw an outside rise ball for the strikeout, and I came back in the dugout, and Coach was like, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I know you were kind of Oh my god. I love yeah. her. I just love I... her. Like, the way, if you know her, like, I'm just excited for, like, our families to get to know her even more because she's, like, literally just amazing, like, in every aspect. I just love her. That's awesome. I need the, I need the softball account whenever she steals a base to hashtag Amaya fast. Um, literally. From now on. We literally got, say it all the time, like, if yeah. we're scouting a fast player. Coach will be like, she's somebody not add, my somebody ass. Have, yeah, somebody add Brett in this, uh, in this thing. Tell me really, about it. <laughs> it needs to be a thing. <clears throat> Florida State has left six runners on base. Oh, my God. This is so in the third inning. They scored three runs, but also... I remember this is this, really this, funny. Uh, Maya does end up scoring, but when she scored, she didn't know she was safe because the umpire, like, did obstruction. And she, I remember she like dove in and she was like, no, because he like went like this and she thought he was calling her out and she like put her hands like this and I was on deck. So I was right behind her and I was like, no, am I? You're safe. And she was like, yes. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> like, geez, that's just her though. She's just like so innocent and just wants the best for herself. It's really awesome. It's great to me. Yeah, Amaya, like she doesn't always get time but whenever she does it's like so exciting she really always makes the most of it and she's just such a positive person too she's so easy to root for like you just love when maya succeeds everybody's so happy for her i love hearing you guys talk about your other teammates whether it be amaya or just whomever but um i love the positivity and I, I, you know, I assume that that was all kind of bred. Not that you're not positive people, but it's really just a testament to the the culture that Coach has built, right? Like, I, I think we can sense that as as fans, or <laughs> so we've got the rally caps going in the dugout. I think we can sense that, and it feels like you guys like each other. So you're either really, really good actresses, or you just like each other, right? Like it, you know. But it, it feels like you're all buddies, and it feels like you're all friends, and it feels like you're all rooting for each other. And I'm sure just, you know, 
like anything, you you know, you have fights with your family all the time, right? Like, you know, but like it feels like for the most part, you guys are really, really close, and it's it's enjoyable to watch that. Um, it's what you know, also being really, really good and winning fifty plus games and beating all our rivals and all that's fun too. But it it makes the it makes the you know cheering for you guys and supporting you guys um, a lot easier. Uh, and again, that's that's probably a coach coach out testament right there. Um, we're really, really good actresses. I was going to say, you never know, will you? Yeah, now that I've put that out there. <laughs> at 25 theater majors. Uh. That's our coach out. No, it definitely is like coach uh, and like... You know, I think that's kind of um, what separates us a little bit from other programs is she's not like just recruiting the softball player. Like she's recruiting the person and she's, you know, recruiting people that will, you know, things like that led up to all of these amazing moments with us talking about our teammates like that and like Bob <laughs> and Sydney being that happy and Taylor and she's like, so happy and so amazing and like you said go through the hard part of it but like it's just so it's so easy to be like so happy for everyone and so excited in this moment because we're just doing it for each other oh my god she actually like bit her lip and like messed up her knee she did she said yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> I remember she told me I don't think people didn't tell her to go. Like she just went, and I remember thanking her in the dugout because that was like not a very good sack fly. I mean, it worked. I'm not complaining, but it was not a deep sack fly, and we all knew that Mackenzie Clark has a cannon. And so when I saw her going, I was like, please. It was all like in slow motion for me. I know. And in the dugout, she told me Teal didn't even tell her to go, and I was like hugging her. Saying thank you for being so <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I remember when she. Go ahead, though. No, I was saying one of my just best sack flies, though. Yeah, I'll yeah. take it. Doesn't have to be pretty. I remember when she. Yeah, I remember watching it and thinking like, because you got a pretty, you know, pretty good angle on TV watching it, and I remember her taking off and thinking, no, like that's not deep enough. Like I know she's fast, but like. Sid's coming up. It's fine. She'll probably double you in. Like, just don't risk this. And, uh, yeah, when she was safe, I was like, thank you, God. <laughs> uh, would have been big. Would have only been three outs left, right? Obviously, all of, none of this would have happened. So, um, yeah, this, this gets really fun here in a minute. Nice swing. Already tied it up with her home run in the second. Comes and bounce back on top in the fourth. As you just saw, Florida State has tied it. <laughs> that's so great new profile picture for sure was this with the two out that dion was caught dancing in the dugout I oh yeah that was virginia yeah i think it was earlier in the earlier it was at night oh yeah, yeah. Well, that was you great guys love that getting, was all over twitter that was awesome you guys love getting caught on on that stuff i remember the world series when I know it's Josie. I don't know who else. Kaylee, are you in it? Uh, Sydney, you're in well, it, right? Well, you guys are just, well, yeah, in you're just staring. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> they have, they have the this camera. one camera right above where I would always sit in the dugout, and I could see it turn around because um, it was like a remote controlled one. It would go from the field and then back into the dugout. And so it would turn around and then point like directly where I was sitting. And then I would like stare at it. And whoever I was sitting around, we all just started staring at it. And then it became a thing where we were all having staring contests every time it turned on us. Michaela was messing with the guys and the like controlling the cameras too. She would come up and like nod at it, and then whoever was controlling it, like the camera would go up and down right back at her. It was funny. <laughs> we talked about um. Somebody asked about this in the chat, and since we all kind of know what's coming, um, we asked Coach about um, you know, Mac getting this moment, um. A little foreshadowing here, right? Because Kaylee's still up. But talk about Matt getting this moment and coming here to Florida State for this moment, um, which is kind of a neat thing to hear Coach talk about. Um, you know, ups and downs through the year. I mean, you know, but all in all, Matt had a really, really good year, and then you know, probably had the biggest swing of the biggest swing of the season in, in winning the uh, 
ACC with a home run here in a little bit. Um, pretty cool to see her like transfer in and. Oh yeah, this was worrisome too. I kept this in. Were you okay? Okay, let's ask this first. I'm then fine. We'll I'm fine. Everything's fine. Perhaps. <laughs> we were all thinking you were coming out here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> never. <laughs> I would never come out. This was well. I don't know if I can tell the fans this. Once I was okay, then we were plotting our game plan to win this game. As she goes in for the slide, Serious. That ankle came again, in. Mac was selfless. So as you go down to the dirt, and make you sprint home. Yeah, she was. That she was. This was like one of the craziest moments, though, because the entire stadium was absolutely silent. There wasn't a single person speaking anywhere. It was crazy. Everybody was silent. And then I think one of the Clemson fans yelled at the umpire, like, you suck. Yelled at him. The Clemson fan yelled at the umpire about balls and strikes, and my dad. During this? Yeah, during this, and my dad yelled back at him, like, hey, dude, shut up. Like, screamed <laughs> across the whole place. And I was like, <laughs> you can, you can hear it from the dugout? Yeah, we could hear it all. And then that's why I don't want anything that was said. That was when I told Robbie, I was like, we don't, we don't need you, Robbie. <laughs> he says something like, hey, Robbie, you suck. And then you're like, Robbie, we don't think you suck. Yeah. Put her back in the field. Okay. I hate it. <laughs> Sorry. Should cut right. out more. Um, the, fans want, right? the fans do not want to see you get hurt. <laughs> I did. For, I did forget how um, quiet it got. Oh, okay. So one more pat on the back for me. Um, I literally tweeted from the pod account, walking Kaylee to get to Mac. That's an interesting strategy. And then did like the dodgeball gif. And I was like, please make me look like a genius for this. Please make me look like it. And uh, yeah, she's a baller. So, uh, but yeah, thoughts on thoughts on Mac transferring in and, and getting this opportunity to really have like this, the swing of the year, maybe. I think it was, I mean, for me, I remember um, talking to her after she stepped back and she was like beating herself up and then Devin hit the two runs in like that pitch after and i was like see like we're all fine like it's gonna be fine um i remember really beating herself up because she was like i know that rule i don't know why i did it and at that point she was still pitching and i don't know why i just like felt like we were gonna come out on top and i just told her that we were gonna win the championship today and that it was gonna be a long game and the team had her back and that she was pitching great and and then for this moment to happen like she's had so many mature moments throughout the season like pitching at florida pitching here um, just to see her come in and have such a mature approach to the game, even though it's her first year with us, was super inspiring and excited to have her back for another year because the maturity that she brings to the game and the intensity, but also just the leadership that she puts on the field is is super huge. And it's definitely definitely helped us here. It's going to help us in the future too. So super exciting. I think, too, if you talk to her, because Mac and I played – the last two summers together um and i think after the first summer i kind of told to you about her and um you watched her a little bit and then after that they were like very interested after she had went in the portal and you know she just was like she like wanted i remember because i went up on her visit with her to visit for state and she just like wanted you know to be she wanted to be in like pressure situations. She wanted to have to handle things. She want kind of everything handed to her. Um, and obviously, she's a really great softball player and was made for moments like this. But it was just like super cool. Like she just embraced all of it, not just the softball part of it. And this is kind of what comes with that. Totally bought in. Um, and like that, that's kind of what happened when. That is so, it is so amazing. That is amazing. That was I so remember amazing. feeling like Danny Morgan, Arizona type home run. I was just like jumping. Yeah. I probably would have rolled an ankle on the stairs. Like I didn't care. <laughs> it was just like total, just like loss, loss of your body. You do. Of. You like lose it. You when those moments happen, you just like escape like your head and you just like scream. Dream. Dream. It's like it's out of body experience. It's it is. Like, I think we all knew Mac had, like, 
kind of like it just like felt max and those people have boxes where you just like know they have what it takes to be in like that big moment and get that big swing off and for it to like come out on this end like she had done so much like for the team and i think like it takes a little while to go to state like it's a lot like with standards and we like really pride ourselves a lot and so for her to one year kind of buy in and get this opportunity for she only gets two years here like it's so cool and it's like a once in a lifetime so happy for her in the circle so happy she was like there for us and like on our side She's so yeah. deserving too. She works really hard, and like you just, you can just tell how much she wants it. Like we've been talking about, like she just, she wants it really bad. She works really hard for it, and like when those moments come, I think too the fact that she's transferred in and hasn't experienced Florida State for all of her years, like she's just talked to me about how appreciative she is for like little things like having her name on her jersey because uh, at her old school they didn't have last names on the back of their jersey and stuff so i feel like she's just so appreciative for like every little thing which just makes it even more exciting for her it was really cool to see that right like you you know sid you've had a million you know incredible plays kaylee you're setting records at the world series with getting on base cat you like never lose any starts, right? Like we, they showed your record a little while ago. And Dev, you've made a bunch of plays, but yeah, it was really, really cool to see somebody that was like new, like a new person, kind of get that moment. Right? Like, I mean, we'll take the win any way we can get it. If Sydney hits another double there, and and we win by one run, then it's amazing, right? And we walk, but like it was, you know, it's another, you know, added to the greatest hits list. It was really cool to see Mac like transfer in and get that moment. Somebody knew, like you said, you guys know, you guys see this stuff, how hard she works and things like that. So that's, it's really cool to hear. And it was, and it was awesome to watch. Like you said, I was a lot farther away from, from that ball than you guys were, but I was pretty hyped too. So, <laughs> oh man. That's what I think too. Like that was the storyline of our whole season. It was always someone different. Yeah. I remember like UCLA, uh, Kaylee Harding hitting the walk off. And like, I remember like, not doing very well and it was just so relaxing as a lead off to like not have to put so much pressure on myself to perform because obviously i want to be a spark plug and want to try and set the tone like at the beginning of the game but understanding in a game of failure i'm not going to get on base every first inning which is okay but just the relief and the amount of like relaxation i could feel this season knowing like if it wasn't going to be me it was going to be the eight other people behind me is such a relieving feeling for me as a lead off because knowing it can be mac and be kaylee can be dev sid anybody can come up at any moment this is kind of like it's not if it's when it's gonna happen so i think that was the storyline of the whole season that was funny when we were all playing at home play, like, <laughs> i know so she hit it right off my leg and then i went to go get it and she ran in front of me so i i mean i should have run into her but i just instinctively stopped and then nobody was going for it we all went to cover home that was funny kaylee mentioned to be in somebody Somebody different every time. This is our last one of these together. Uh, maybe we'll have another one if, if enough people donate and you guys want more of these. So go to risingspear.com and donate to the Seminole softball specific campaign. The link is in the description. But in case we don't do another one, another fun moment this year was uh, Chloe hitting the walk off. Oklahoma State, was it? I don't, again, Kat, I don't know how soon after that game you watched the replay, but she kind of covers his, her mouth. You guys seen this? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. She she cut well, yeah. So they said on the broadcast, um Oh, what did she like blow a kiss or something? Like she she, and I was like, like she's out yeah. there saying, Go ball, go. So, <laughs> she's so, like <laughs> she uh they finally saw the reverse angle from that. And, yeah, we won't show it here because it's a family program. But uh <laughs> if you look that up, it's it's really, really good and absolutely hilarious but yeah i'll never forget they were like oh she blowed it you know she blowed a kiss to the home run goodbye and like, nah, not quite so that was hilarious to see a little bit later that reverse angle yeah, that like totally deserved that yeah moment. like she that was so crazy like for that her. was like so amazing as it like so amazing like she 100 like could not be happier for her in that moment like 
wanted wanted to see her like a million times over like she did her day it was awesome it was such like a genuine reaction like it was so chloe because like she's been through so much like injury and red shirting and stuff and um just like not being where she wants to be and so that moment like seeing the replay of her saying that or like what she said it was just like it's so funny but it's like so chloe it's so like it, oh my gosh and she like kind of ran around the bases like with her arms like this <laughs> was so happy. i think other than alabama that was probably the most excited our dugout was. well alabama max home run right here and then i would say chloe's home run were the most like exciting the scream like all you can do is scream yeah, yeah. the video of like her and danielle like Daniel lost that, was, her mind. that was that so was like cool. a super cool video. Someone got it from the stands and posted it on Twitter. Even, like even more than like the win, like Chloe having that moment in that game, like on that stage, like meant like so much to the team. Like win or loss, like that is like kind of what it's all about. Like Chloe getting to do that, and like you know, like each of us, like no matter what, like, 1 through 15, like, all of us hitters, like, it was just, it was so genuine, and it was just the most amazing moment, I think, and this was too. Yay! ACC! Um, yeah, we'll talk about this ACC, but that Oklahoma State series, we'll go back to this real quick, but that was fun. Two walk-offs, obviously Dev hit the first one and then kind of an error let Sydney get home um and then Chloe in the second one but oh. <laughs> who's got the strongest grip on that like who's who's at, who's holding that up and then everybody else is grabbing it you know uh, I, mean, I, I wasn't there I was on the outside with Mac it was up when I turned around. Yeah, I, I definitely went for it at first. I like really wanted that. Trip. I saw it coming out, and I think I like threw my glove and ran to it. I really wanted to like be one of the first ones. Sid and I were holding it for a while. Yeah, we were. <laughs> and I was over and he said, Coach, we got something for you. Some more hardware down there in Tallahassee. That conversation with KT and Kojo was like the quarter or fight. Yep. I think that was it. <laughs> that was awful. That was so fun. To nail it down. Aww. It was a great effort by Mallory Cable in the circle for Clemson. Just that one two count mix up with a ball left too close to the zone on a hitter. You're like, all right. This had not I know. I was like, now what do we do? Leonard found the right spot to come through in. Oh my god, they're just like Let's go down now to Jalen Coach is so oh, gracious. The most oh gracious. Cool. Yeah, I don't have a yeah, I don't have a I don't want to go so far in it, but like just like to be thoughtful there and then you know we were all obviously bitter and upset and sad about how the season ended and i'm like scrolling twitter and she's over here like congrats i'm just like stop being such a good person <laughs> like please like <laughs> but she is she's she's awesome and so i don't talk anymore about that but she's really great i was hoping there would be a gatorade bath or power a bath or like you know i don't, I don't know we have the stigma here against gatorade too but there was no there was no uh no bath for this i think we occupied with the trophy i was gonna say i think we were all just like looking at the trophy i honestly didn't even like i i knew Mac did an interview after i didn't know she was doing this one i think that that moment like I think you guys should just surprise her the next time you see her and just be like, this was for Pittsburgh. <laughs> Long overdue. That's just what happens. I was just taking a team at bat and I was doing it for my team. And just, I'm just glad that this happened. Yeah, we have selection Sunday tomorrow, but what does it mean taking this momentum into the rest of the postseason? Um, just as a team, I think we know that we can trust our stuff and know that like one swing can change a game. Uh, do what we can do and just keep fighting every single game, every single pitch and stay um, in it one pitch at a time for every game. Well, thank you, Mac. You guys have been fun to watch. Congratulations on the championship. I don't think there's a ton of time left on this. Yeah, just a minute. I don't know. Um, I don't know where the ACC championship is next year. I don't think it's been announced yet for any of the for any of the ACC sports. Um, if it obviously it has. Yeah. Where, where is it? Oh, okay. 
Right. I didn't know if I wasn't supposed to say that. I didn't, I didn't post it. I've seen, I've seen it posted like on Twitter. So okay, I like said it. Like, I don't think <laughs> that's fine. Nobody's watching. I promise. I've seen. I think um, they posted it. Like ACC, like posted. Okay. I was like, oh no. If not, we'll edit Wait, that out. But if not. Sorry. <laughs> if not, you heard it from Kaylee Mudge first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the end of my career. <laughs> no wrong. Mudge said it. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, thank you again for hanging out. I want to encourage everybody that is able to go in the go in the comments, go in the description. There is a link to the softball specific campaign through Rising Spear. Um, they helped us put this on. Um, fun fun three games to watch. We watched uh, the win at Alabama. No games at home. I mean, we'll have to do one more. We'll we'll talk with the folks over Rising Spear. We need to find a a home game to do because um, those are a ton of fun. But uh, Watch the game at Alabama, watch the game at Florida, and then the ACC Championship. Ladies, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank, thank you, you for recording these. But a uh, ton of fun. If you guys can donate, do it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Go Knowles. Go Knowles. Go Knowles. Go Knowles. Go Knowles.